My name is Jonathan Norton. I'm a clinical scientist in the Department of Surgery and we're interested in how electrical stimulation interacts with the nervous system um, in man and specifically in trying to use it to control pain and generate movement. Well, one of the big problems we have in society today is the number of opioids floating around in the community and people overdosing on opioids. Um, and opioids are typically prescribed for patients who have severe and chronic pain. We're interested in using electrical stimulation inside the body to control and alleviate pain in patients who have long-standing chronic pain. The hardware comes in two parts. There's a stimulator um, that sits inside the patient and that, that's sort of the brains of the stimulation system and that's the one that we're working on right now. And then there's a delivery system which is a set of electrodes or metal contacts that sit on the top of the spinal cord on the back of the patient. So we take off some of these bones and then we can slide the electrodes up into that gap just in there and then tunnel these wires out so they come and sit down here with, and that's where we place the, the battery in the brains of the system. So we're looking at developing new parts of the stimulator uh, brains to develop new stimulation parameters. So we're looking at pulse width, changing various parameters in the, in the stimulation system. So how the stimulation is delivered. We're doing this to reduce the number of opioids that are out there in the community because if we can implant more of these devices so that patients do not need to take opioids chronically, then there will be less opioids freely floating in the community and we can hopefully reduce some of that opioid crisis. And so we just need to get the word out that there is this alternative to long-term drug use to control your pain. It's long-term electrical stimulation.